So today I want to talk to you guys about leadership and what makes a good leader. What are some of their traits and characteristics? Throughout my soccer career I've been blessed to be a captain and a leader on a number of my teams. You know, all the way from youth club team, high school, college and three teams throughout my professional ranks as well with the reserves with New England and then with the Richmond Kickers for two years and in my second year as captain of the Switchbacks uh, professional soccer team. So um, I've been honored with that privilege to help be a leader as a captain. Some of the things that have helped me uh, understand this role is by looking to other great leaders and seeing what they've done throughout their um, careers as pros, looking to other captains that I've played for and other teams that I look up to. But most importantly, first and foremost, um, I look to Jesus Christ and I see him as the quintessential, optimal, perfect example of a great leader. And the way he led was through servant leadership. He literally laid down his life for his friends. And that is the prim primary and ideal way to lead. Putting others first by leading with your heart and really being authentic and genuine and caring about your followers and caring about your teammates and putting their needs ahead of yours and bringing out their best. When you put the needs of your teammates ahead of your own, they can feel that and they can sense that and understand that. And that's encouraging and that's um, what they wanna follow. Great leaders are trustworthy, they're responsible, they communicate, they listen, they know how to, how to listen and hear and, and understand the needs of their teammates. It's very important that good leaders are confident, but they're not arrogant. They know what they're talking about, they understand what they're talking about. They're credible. Great leaders are men and women of great character, of strong virtue. They need to live a life worth following. And this is a great way to be a strong leader. And I think this poem sums it up really well uh, when it says, no written word, no spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves.